So let's me share something very, very important when working with the ultimatum theme. Let me close these windows out. Now keep in mind we have the ultimatum theme set up and activated. And if we go to settings, I'm sorry, if you go to ultimatum templates, you'll see that I have the one template. Now you can have many templates set up, but you have to have a template set up by default. So what I'm about to share with you, again to review from previous videos, the hierarchy of the way the ultimatum theme works, it's theme, child theme, which we'll talk about in an upcoming video, template, templates contain layouts, layouts contain rows, rows contain widgets, widgets contain content. As long as you follow that roadmap, you'll stay out of trouble when working with ultimatum and it'll be much more enjoyable. Again, my whole purpose of teaching is to get you to think the way that that particular software thinks. As an example, if you're working in Illustrator, Illustrator is an object-based program. So there's an object menu. If you're working in Photoshop, Photoshop is an image-based program. So there's an image menu. So it's that type of thinking. Once you understand how the software thinks, everything else is child's play. Now we'll talk about how to import a template in a subsequent video as well, but right now I want to talk about creating a brand new template from scratch. I'm going to hit add new, and let's call this our main responsive web design, RWD, template. Now it's, if you want to put the word template in there, I think it just makes a lot of sense. Okay, which one of these frameworks we want to use? Okay, now apparently this Bootstrap 2 is going to be retired. Uh, the ultimatum is going to be retired soon. So if, based on the version we're working with, it's actually saying, hey, 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 use this one. Good idea. Okay, Twitter Bootstrap beginning templates. Okay, now I have different types of templates that I can use. I'm going to just pick my default template and I will go and talk about these briefly in subsequent videos. Now, I do want to make my template a responsive design template, so I'm going to pick responsive. And of course, for those of you that are new to this, what that means is, the based on your device, it will resize itself based on that device, and you can put those different parameters in here, tablet size, etc., etc. So I'm going to come down here and save my template. Now, when you save the template, of course, that's going to enable you to use that template, right? So right now, that is not my default template. This is not my default template, this is. But I wanna utilize this template because that's a new template that I am building. So if you were to try to use that template and you're gonna be miffed as to why you can't see anything, it's because that template needs to be set up by default. Now, if you recall in our earlier videos, we didn't have to do that because that, that shipped that way. Okay, it already was set up by default when you install the ultimate theme framework. So I'm gonna set this as my default template. Perfect. Okay, now it's saying, well, you got a default template, but you don't have a layout for that template, which is true, we don't. So we're gonna click over here and we're gonna make ourselves a new layout. I'm gonna click right here, and let's just call this main responsive design layout. Again, it's not necessary to put the word layout or template on something, but it just makes sense. It's just easier to, for the eye to catch on to. Now, the choices that you have when making a layout is full or partial. When we create a menu, we already have a menu created, but we wanna put the menu in our new template we we're gonna put that into a partial layout. So based on these choices, we're gonna make a full layout and save. Now, this layout is not gonna help us at all unless we have rows inside of our layout. So based on these choices, we're gonna insert some rows. And we're gonna pick something, and I'm just gonna arbitrarily pick something here. I'm gonna pick this particular layout right here. So there was a little bit of a snafu there. It opened up a larger window and it wasn't enabling me to select it. So I'm gonna click this layout right here and come down here and insert. Now keep in mind that this layout is all, you know, different columns, et cetera, et cetera, where we can drag different widgets and elements or widgets, I should say, into this area. And I'm gonna save that. 
So for this area right here, let's simply make that area my default WordPress loop. And as we learned in previous videos, I'm just going to take the placeholder off. I don't want an image. And if I have a multiple page layout, I don't want to have an image. Let's save the changes. Okay, so this is similar to what we did in our previous videos. So this is a WordPress loop. Now over here to the right, we can put social media. As we talked about before, actually, I didn't mean to do that. Actually, let's just put Twitter. I'll just put my Twitter username, which is think, learn, earn. And I'm just sharing with you how easy it is to lay out your site using the ultimatum theme framework. I'm going to save that. Close that. Now, don't confuse close with delete. Now, let's say I want to put a slideshow in here as well, but if really not, I don't want to do that. Let's come over here and let's put a search button here. So let's do an ultimatum search. That's going to go right. I'm going to scroll up here. I'm going to drop it there for now. So ultimatum search, I want to put right here just because I can't. Now pay no attention to the design of the site. I'm just sharing with you the principles. We'll get into design in subsequent videos. We're going to do some really cool professional looking sites. So let's just put over here, let's put a, uh, let's put this social media icons, more of them, which is something we did before. So I click, so let's do, uh, Let's do Facebook, click, let's do, let's do, uh, ta, 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 ta. let's just do Facebook and YouTube, Twitter, hold down the command, key Macintosh, control key for Windows, and YouTube, and save the changes. So when you do that, so Facebook is simply HTTP, in fact, I'm just going to put nonsense in here. I'm just going to put information. It doesn't matter. Just the understanding behind doing it. Just to understand how I can get this layout done. And over here to the left, we'll just put, uh, we'll just leave that blank for now. And I'm going to save the changes. Again, the exercise here is to how to make a layout from scratch. Now, if I go to view this page, keep in mind, rule number one, templates. Templates or themes, themes, child themes, child theme templates, templates contain layouts, layouts contain widgets, widgets contain content. So let's understand something. We have widgets in our layout and we certainly have content. We have post content and page content. So all those things are a check, right? So you say, okay, I set my template by default. So if I come up here to view my site and I'm excited, I want to see my site and there's nothing there. Now, this is going to be extremely frustrating to you. Let me explain to you why there is nothing there. You might say, well, Robert, I went through the checkboxes. Template, child, theme, child, theme, template, layout, widgets, content. Well, that's true, but you missed the step. And the step that you missed, which we haven't talked about before in great detail, if I go back to my layout screen, I do have a layout. Actually, let's go back here to templates. Let's go back here to uh, layouts and there's our layout. So you might say, well, wait a second. I have a layout. I have a template. The template set by default, but, 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 but the layout is not set by default. So therefore it doesn't know what to do. So I need to set that to default until you do that. You're going to see diddly nothing, not a nil, not a nil. So now if I go back up here and I view my site, now I can see my content on my site. Here's my search bar. Here's my social media. Here's my multiple posts. And if, again, if you don't want to see those placeholders for your multiple posts, the simplest way to do that is to go back to your WordPress default loop, select multiple page layout. I don't want to see an image, so I want one column. In fact, I want two columns with no image. And I don't want to see a placeholder. And I come down here and save and come up here and save my layout and view the page. Okay, so again, this is a brand new layout from scratch. 
any way you want to slice or dice it, it's up in here. Now, if I go back in here for a second, and here is my search button, but I really don't have a label for that. So I can put the placeholder text in there and just call it search me. For those of you, boy, how did I spell that? Search me. So the placeholder text is the text that you find inside of the form itself. I'm going to save that change. I'm going to save the light out. So now when you go back into here to view the site, you will see that it says search me before it didn't say search me. Now, in our next video, we're going to install a header. So stay tuned.